Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a topic that can be a bit tricky. Defiance. But before we start, I want to make something very clear. This video isn't about encouraging rebellion or challenging authority for the sake of it. Rather, we are going to explore how some biblical figures chose to stand firm in their faith even when it meant defying earthly authorities with dire consequences. Our focus will be on quiet yet courageous obedience to God. We will explore biblical examples of characters who stood firm in their faith against earthly authorities and also look at some contemporary examples. So for our first example, we will look at Daniel and the king's food. Let's start with Daniel. He defied the king's command to eat the royal food and wine. Instead, he chose vegetables and water, staying true to his faith. We read that in Daniel chapter 1, verse 8 to 16. Daniel's quiet defiance was about honoring God's dietary laws. The second example we are going to look at is that of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Daniel's friends Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow down to King Nebuchadnezzar's golden statue. They said, we will not serve your gods or worship the image of God you have set up. Their defiance was about remaining loyal to God, even under the threat of death. Number three, we will look at the apostles' preaching. The apostles were ordered to stop preaching and teaching about Jesus. Peter and the others replied, We must obey God rather than human beings. We read that in Acts chapter 5, verse 29. They continued to preach, showing their unwavering commitment to God's command. Another example where men in the Bible defied earthly authorities is that of Daniel's prayer in chapter 6. Now, we have previously discussed a few powerful stories of defiance in the Bible. We talked about Daniel refusing to eat the king's food, his friends standing up against the idol, and the apostles preaching despite orders not to. Today's main example is Daniel again. But this time, it's about a private act of defiance. Daniel chapter 6 tells us about a new law outlawing praying to any god or man except King Darius for 30 days. Daniel's enemies used this to trap him, knowing he prayed three times a day. So what would you do if you were in Daniel's situation? Would it be convenient to save your life? After all, it was just for 30 days. You see, the devil tries to give you a seemingly cheaper and convenient way out. Daniel didn't hide his faith. He went home, opened his windows, and prayed, just as he always did. He didn't stop or change his routine. Daniel chapter 6, verse 10 to 11 is where we find that. Now, this act wasn't about showing off, but about staying true to his commitment to God. As a matter of fact, the outcome of Daniel's action was that he was thrown into the lion's den. The next morning, the king found Daniel unharmed. And Daniel said this. Let me just read it right from the scripture. Daniel chapter 6 verses 22 it says my god sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions they have not hurt me because i was found innocent in his sight so daniel did not commit a crime in god's eyes is that isn't that so Exactly. Daniel's defiance of the king's order wasn't seen as a crime by God. He was innocent because he stayed faithful to God's higher law. 
This is crucial. Our ultimate allegiance is to God. Now, let's look at some contemporary examples of Christians who defied authority to honor God. The first example is Dietrich Bonhoeffer, a German pastor who actively resisted the Nazi regime. He was executed for his involvement in a plot to overthrow Hitler, showing immense courage and faith in the face of evil. The second example is that of Corrie ten Boom, a Dutch Christian who helped many Jews escape the Holocaust. She and her family hid Jews in their home, defying Nazi laws. She was imprisoned, but survived to tell her story of faith and bravery. Another contemporary example is that of Martin Luther King Jr., an American Christian minister who led the civil rights movement. He advocated for non-violent resistance to racial segregation, inspired by his faith in Jesus. Another example, there are so many examples we could talk of, but there is Watchman Ni, a Chinese Christian leader, persecuted and imprisoned during the rise of the communist regime. His faith and writings have inspired millions worldwide. Back here in Uganda, the Uganda Matters story, a group of 23 Anglican and 22 Catholic converts to Christianity in the historical kingdom of Uganda, now part of Uganda, who were executed between 1885 and 1887. They refused to renounce their faith despite the threat of death. Their courage and faith have inspired countless Christians around the world. So let's bring this to today. How can we apply these lessons? Here are some three key points I want to point out to you. Number one, let's prioritize God's commands. Always put God's law above human laws when they conflict. Like Daniel, be steadfast in your faith practices. Number two, act with integrity. Stay true to your beliefs even when pressured to conform. Be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Don't bow to societal pressures that go against God. Number three, seek peaceful defiance. When laws conflict with God's commands, choose peaceful, respectful ways to stand firm. The apostles, in the Acts of the Apostles we read, Continue preaching without violence, showing commitment through peaceful defiance. To wrap up, remember that our goal is quiet obedience to God, not defiance for defiance's sake. Examples of Daniel and others teach us to stand firm in our faith, prioritizing God's commands above all else. When we do this, we are innocent in God's sight, just as Daniel was. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Robert. Stay blessed and keep shining the light of Christ. Don't forget to like, share, and engage with our content. We would love to hear your thoughts and experiences. Stay tuned for our next episode. Until then, may God guide and bless you in seeking justice and peace. Goodbye. In a world filled with noise and chaos, we seek clarity and truth. Join us on Edify as we dive into contemporary issues and explore them through the Christian lens. Guided by the Bible, we aim to inspire and uplift. Welcome to Edify, enlightening minds, transforming hearts.